It is now 3.10 p.m. Uh, I am not going to do the weather. No, I'm not going to do the weather because I really don't feel like doing the weather right now. This is my first day back on the air after a one-month hyenas, hyenas or whatever you want to call that. Uh, it's time for me to do my, uh, to, um, I was quiet for almost two hours, so how about, I, I promised I was going to do a two-hour, um, a two-hour, uh, almost a two-hour show without even talking on the air, so how about if I, how about if I talk a little bit about, um, in case you missed what I, uh, what I, uh, what I read earlier, uh, this was an article that, that I got, uh, about a few days ago. I didn't got it this morning. I got it a few days ago. So I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read this, uh, I'm going to read this again in case you guys, uh, missed it. Uh, I got it right here. Just hold on a minute. I am sure that we were all stunned and shocked at what happened last Sunday night on the Strip here in Las Vegas. A... Deeply disturbed and angry man took out his frustration on almost 600 people, 527 wounded and 59 dead. As of the writing of this bulletin article, we are deeply saddened by this horrific event. Our hearts and thoughts and prayers go out to all those affected by this tragedy. We can't imagine the pain that is being experienced by those involved. Our resource is to our faith in God. We have hope that comes from our faith to strengthen us in these times. We know that God will eventually bring peace and calm to our minds and hearts once again. Never give up hope in the goodness of humanity and the love that connects us. We, we witnessed this goodness a number of times following the tragic shooting. There are more good people in the world than evil, and we are the bearers of confront and compassion to all who are hurting. God bless all those affected by this event. Or to put it another way, uh, this person's um, this person's uh, heart's heart uh, thought and prayer goes out to all of those affected by this tragedy. And as for me, my heart, my thoughts and prayers go out to the people who who either were wounded or lost their lives at that tra at that uh, tragic event that happened two nights ago. I am uh, as for me I am I am deeply saddened and upset by this uh, by this terrible tragedy so this uh, program that I that I that I came to do is dedicated to those who uh, who either lost their lives or wounded two nights ago. Right here on the Las Vegas Strip, right here in Las Vegas. I am deeply, um, I'm, uh, excuse me. I'm really, uh, I'm really lost for words. I'm really lost for words. I'm deeply saddened by this, uh, terrible tragedy. So this, uh, program that, that the special program that I'm playing is, uh, is dedicated to those who have uh, lost their, their loved ones in that uh, terrible shooting two nights ago. It's such a tragedy. Also, for those of you who had missed this, um, about the hurricanes in uh, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, as well as the earthquake in Mexico, we have also been affected by the terrible events in these places. Um, this man had requested we take up a collection for the people affected by these terrible events in these places. Uh, according, according to uh, what I'm reading right now, uh, 
this may be their second uh, collection will go to assist the people in these places, etc., etc. Well, that uh, this program that I just did just now is also dedicated to those who were affected by the hurricane in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, as well as uh, the earthquake in Mexico, even though uh, I'm not playing any Spanish music today. I don't know when I'm going to... I don't know when I'm going to do do it again, but, um, but, uh, like I said, my hearts and prayers go out to the people who either were wounded or lost their lives two nights ago at the music festival close to Mandalay Bay. And I also want to, uh, I'm almost out of here. I'm going to get out of here real soon. I like to say this before I get out of here. Uh... About a week ago, no, well, almost a week, well, over a week ago, I was, I was in the university, I was right here in the university, I went uh, right behind the student union, and I met this uh, girl named Katerina, even though it is not her real name. Anyway, I met Katerina, and she was working on the, on the night that that happened. Me and Katerina were just a couple of strangers. I, she was there to pay her respects, and I was there to pay my respects, too, because I'm part of the university, etc., etc. She light up a candle, and she was working that, that night, and somehow she survived. She didn't get wounded. She was, she was a ticket girl, and Katerina was in tears. She was uh, crying. She was crying about uh, what happened. She was, now, we were just a couple of strangers. I never put my arms around her to comfort her. I never did because, you know, I don't even know the girl and she doesn't know me. We were just a couple of strangers who were there paying our respects to those who were either wounded or lost their lives at that uh, terrible event that happened two Sundays ago. She was crying. And I was deeply saddened by, by this. Yeah, she was crying and, and, you know, she just, we, she couldn't believe that she was there. She, she was, you know, the, 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 the shooter, the gunman, uh, went berserk and started killing almost 600 people, uh, according to this uh, article that I have in front of me. I am... Yeah, I'm really lost for words. Uh, we didn't. We hardly spoke to each other because it was it was really quiet. It deserved to be quiet. We were deeply sad and heartbroken by this uh, terrible event. I wasn't even there when this happened. She was. She was in tears. Katerina was in tears, and and I was just. I was just uh, standing there. You know, holding back the tears, etc., etc. I'm really, uh, I'm really, uh, I'm really sad. I really, uh, really, she was a, she was, I was really upset and saddened by this. She was more, uh, saddened, sadder than I am, and she was in tears. She couldn't believe it. She was even there. You know, I cannot imagine the, the terror that she went through that night. By the way, uh, if you if you're around the university, please drop by. Uh, go behind the uh, student union, and you can see all the candles and all the flowers and all the teddy bears that's in place behind the student union. You can pay the you can pay your respects there. It's still there until who knows when they're going to take it down because there was a virtual that happened uh, a night or two nights after the this uh, shooting took place. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And uh, yeah, you can you can stop by and um, drop some flowers, some candles, some teddy bears, or whatever to pay your respect for those uh, who lost their lives that fateful night two nights two Sunday nights ago. Please pay your respects. Have some respect for the dead people. And because uh, 
because we don't have a president of the United States right now, you know, because there's no president, the, the cause of this, uh, th that was probably the cause of the, um, that, uh, you know, no president, no gun control. And, uh, you know, it's just like, it's almost the same thing in Baltimore, you know. Uh, no justice, no peace. Okay? So, uh... So, uh... Like I said, uh... Yeah, so... So, Kat so Katarina... We just stood there and, uh... We didn't talk very much and then she left and... You know? We just couldn't take it. The, the two strangers, me and Katarina, we just couldn't take it. And, you know, we keep our hands to ourselves, and we were deeply saddened by this terrible loss. And I'm really lost for words. This is close to home, people. This didn't happen in, in France or in England or, uh, or in Germany or, or in any part of the world. I am deeply saddened by this, people. I really am. I'm really lost for words. So, uh, you know, because we don't have a president, uh, there's no gun control. You know, there, uh, there, has been, there has been too much violence, too much pain, and this has to stop. Okay? This has to stop right now. So, uh, since it was a quiet show, and since I didn't talk very much on the, I didn't talk much on the air just now. It looks like I may have to close my show with. Um, let's see if I can. Let me find a selection to uh, end end the show, because because uh, I'm because uh, I'm on my way out the door. I'm I'm gonna end the show a little early today, and, and I'm supposed to play the the next uh, the next uh, time. Hold on, let me see what I got here. What's, what's the next uh, thing I'm supposed to play? Yeah, I'm going to get out of here a little early today. I'm so happy that I'm back after after I've been away for over a, a month. But uh, the reason why, you know, um, I'm going to have to... Uh, the reason why I was away, well... I'm going to have to talk about this on the next uh, show because uh, I'm so happy that no no tracks were skipping this time because the last time I was here, the tracks were skipping on purpose all by itself and I didn't know what to do and I'm going to have to talk about that on the next show. And But for now, I'm going to have to uh, uh, close my show with... Um, I think I'm going to close my show with... Um, I don't know if I'm going to close my show with Joan Baez doing Imagine which is a John Lennon song. Just remember this program that you're, you're listening to right now. Uh, this radio station will be on 24 hours a day, but, uh, but we have automatic DJ going. But, um, but I will take your request next week. But until now, I'm, I'm, I'm out the door. So, uh, so once again, my hearts and prayers go out to the people who lost their lives two nights ago at the Strip. And um, as well as those who were wounded. And like I said, 59 dead and 527 people wounded by this uh, emotionally, deeply disturbed and angry man who took out his frustration almost 600 people. And, uh, and I really like to say this from the bottom of my heart. This has to stop. Okay? This needs to stop. This, uh, this, uh, violence, this, uh, you know, it's not like you see in the movies every day. It's not like you see on television every day, but I really mean it that this, this kind of, this, this really disturb us and this has to stop. Okay. So unfortunately I did not say any prayers, but maybe I'll say my prayers, uh, off the air. So once again, I'm going to say it again. My heart's, my heart. My thoughts and my hearts and my prayers go out to the people, the 59 people who were, who were, who turned up dead two nights ago at the Strip 
during a music festival, as well as the 527 people who were wounded. So, once again, my hearts and prayers go out to those 59 people who turned up dead that, that fateful, tragic Sunday night two, two nights ago. Thank you. You have been listening to Frankie's Underground Party on Listener Supported 91.5 HD2 The Rebel, KUNB Las Vegas, the broadcast service of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I'll be back next week, maybe. Bye.